A fatal alligator attack. A Hilton Head Island woman is dead. An alligator attacked her while she was walking her dog, something she does every day. We're going to go live now to WJCL 22 News' is Nakaya Carrero, as she's been tracking this story all day. Nakaya. Greg, it happened right here behind me in the private Spanish Wells neighborhood. Holly Jenkins was walking her dog near a lagoon when she was all of a sudden attacked by a gator this morning. If something needs to be done, do it sooner rather than later. I mean, one death is too many. Residents out in Hilton Head Island are rocked by the news of a 69 year old woman losing her life early Tuesday morning to a gator. Buford County Sheriff's Office says when they arrived on scene, the alligator was guarding her body. They're responding to a report of an elderly female in the lagoon. She is possibly deceased. People who were staying nearby say it's scary, especially seeing alligators on a daily themselves. We were staying on that side, on Spanish Wall side, and we'd already seen an alligator in the community that we were staying in, in the pond. So it's a little, I don't know, it's kind of shocking, honestly. Yeah. I think. The alligators sometimes get too comfortable with the people and, and vice versa. According to the sheriff's office, this is the second fatal alligator attack within a year after an 88 year old woman was killed near a lagoon in the Sun City neighborhood. You know, we have our nieces and nephews, they're small children, you know, and they go by these waters and it's just like, OK, do we actually trust them going by without, you know, just something coming out and getting them like? Nakai officials just releasing new information about this gator. That's right, Greg. South Carolina Department of Natural Resources says the alligator involved in this incident was nine foot nine inches long and has been euthanized. Now, Buford County Coroner's Office confirming to me they will do an autopsy tomorrow at some point on the woman killed by this gator. Back to you, Greg. Okay, the Kaya Guerrero reporting live out there in Hilton Head Island. Thank you so very much. I want to continue our team coverage now with WJCL 22 News' is Brooke Butler. Very important because, Brooke, you just recently spoke with a wildlife expert about why, and more importantly, how alligators attack. I spoke to Buck McNeely after a video surfaced of an alligator charging at a fisherman in the shipyard community. Now, take a look. This just a couple of weeks ago and shipyard where this happened has actually banned fishing in its community this summer as a result. McNeely, a wildlife expert, tells me no one is off the food chain for an alligator. He also says it's common for a gator to leave out its kill for several days after an attack. If they can't gulp it down whole in one swallow, then they'll try and shred the meat off the bones or they'll tuck it up under a root wad and let it decompose for a day or two, and then they can shred the meat off of the bones. So that's how gators and crocodiles feed. Now, as Nikaya said, that alligator was guarding the woman's body, according to deputies, and deputies say it's still unclear at this point where the gator managed to drag her into the water. Mm, it is a very painful thing that he said, but it is accurate and it is a fact of life in the world of nature. And again, the Beaufort County Coroner's Office is expected to conduct an autopsy on that woman's body on Wednesday. Brooke Butler reporting live in our studio. Thank you so very much.